Get it, man. Show them. People drive very, very crazy in the morning when they're on their way to work. Walking, walking to the store because I'm cutting and I'm trying to lose weight and have a six pack. Baby girl's had a headache for like two days straight now and uh, she had a lot of trouble getting out of the house today. It was chaotic in the morning. She, she woke up kind of late. Anyhow, she wanted a salad for work, but that ended up not working out for her because we didn't have the right supplies. I'm at the store right now to make her a little salad before me and Brian go up to C.T. Fletcher's gym and film today. I'm not even sure what I'm here to get. We'll see. LP life hack, guys. Get a carabiner for your keys. You can hook it to the shopping cart and you can hang your sunglasses on the carabiner, man. I'm grabbing two of these oranges. Man, I don't even know what for. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab them and kind of see exactly what happens. A main ingredient for most of mine and baby girl salad and like a main ingredient for life, baby spinach. I specifically said she wanted mushrooms today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab these mushrooms, probably make them work in that salad somehow. She, baby, baby girl has a very, very broad taste and she loves everything. So she, she likes everything I make basically. She also loves these uh, little tiny sweet grape tomatoes. I, I would never eat these in my life ever. And again guys, salads are just not my thing, but I'm really good at making them for other people. These are only $2.99 right now. So I was like, you know what, why not? We'll get them and put them on there. Walking up the hill, walking up the hill, walking up the hill, walking up the hill. We are home now, got the ingredients. We're gonna see what we do with this. Guys, when you are in Walmart and you see the $12 slippers, I know they look cheap, but let me tell you, these things, they are the best decision you will ever make in your life. You're gonna feel like an old man at first when you wear them. You're gonna be like, oh man, I feel like an old person wearing these. These are old people slippers. But then after like a week, you're gonna be like, where are my slippers? I can't find my slippers. So because she counts her calories as well, I'm gonna write all this stuff down as I weigh it out on the scale. Then she'll have just basically like a, a rough draft of how to look stuff up on my fitness pal. Okay, we are done now. I put this cheese fantastico salad dressing in one little thing, it's two servings, and then I also put a light balsamic in another one. I wasn't sure what would go with this little menagerie here. I've got that those mushrooms you saw, I've got the little tomatoes you saw, the sweet grape tomatoes, two ounces of spinach, uh, we've also got the, what else did I put in here? Oh, and some chicken breast that I had from meal prep as well. I put three ounces of chicken breast in there as well. I also sliced up those little oranges. I put them into little orange chunks right here. Got that all in the classic Target lunch bag and I've written everything out on a piece of paper right there. <laughs> I, I, I get excited when you guys write me letters. If I wrote you one back and you guys saw my writing, look at that, you'd be like, who, what kind of weird, strange elementary school serial killer just wrote me a letter? Yeah, LP can make cool videos and do all sorts of stuff. Uh, writing is definitely not my thing, man. Ah, yes. Success, very successful. She loved the salad, guys. She was definitely into it. Uh, she was extremely ecstatic that I wrote everything down. That was the thing she was most excited about. Uh, I gotta hurry home now because I gotta get over to Brian's house to get up to Long Beach to film with uh, CT. Not sure if I'm allowed to talk about who we're filming with. I'm gonna talk to Brian when we get to the house and maybe I'll be able to reveal that when we get up to LBC. Back home, look at this. Look at the aftermath, guys. <laughs> Torn up paper and like there's like orange guts and spinach chunks all over. <laughs> yeah, we got meal prep chicken uh, lid over here. Booyah kacha, clean kitchen man, no dishes man. Yeah, ba 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 ba, hot fire. Okay, I've got this all set up so I can showcase it for you guys. We have in one of the icon meals leftover little snack pack things. I've got six ounces of chicken breast, and then there's 195 grams of brown rice in there. I've got a lemon pack for that. I also pot, put two tablespoons of Odang hummus sauce Caesar in there. because I, I, It's been killing me just having this plain with just lemon. I, I need some kind of flavor on there. 
Then we've got a half bag of rice cakes in case I want to just like munch on something and just sit there and eat. I've also got a Think Thin bar. This one is cinnamon bun and white chocolate. Hopefully baby girl doesn't hate me for taking this because uh, she buys these like special for her. I've also got one scoop of my protein, Impact Whey Protein. This is the Summer Fruit. And last but not least, I've just got like a little tiny monster. I think this only has like 70 milligrams of caffeine in it or 90 milligrams. I like these ones. I like to have these at my house and take them places because they don't sell these a lot of places. They only sell these like a couple places, the small ones. And when you get that big one, you know you're gonna drink the whole thing. You say you're only gonna drink half of it, man. Just live with the fact that you're gonna drink the whole thing and just buy the little one. I just got a text from baby girl. She thanked me very much for the salad. She loved the salad very much. But what's really cool is that that salad only had like 222 calories in it after she calculated it. That's pretty awesome. And that's gonna be a very filling salad too. Like, I mean, again, I don't eat salads guys, but like apparently I've got like a pretty good gift at making them for other people. Very strange to me. Uh, this drive again. You guys, you guys have seen this drive plenty of times. So times. We've done this drive a lot of times up in Long Beach. Got that chicken I showed you guys that I packed. That chicken gonna put my lemon on it. Lemon, lemon. Where's that? Oh, there's the juices. Whoa, whoa. Bumpy road, bumpy road interfering with my lemon juices, man. We got that Odang hummus sauce. I'm gonna try and put like half of this on here right now and then put the other half when I'm like halfway done with this. We're gonna see how that goes. That is some good, that, that's good. That, that was made in my lap, man. Yeah, I just made impressive. that, yeah, I just made that in my lap on the way to Long Beach, guys. That was pretty good. That's some pretty good meal prep skills right there, guys. That was pretty good. All right, finally landed. Finally landed in LBC off of our private jet that we have that we use for uh, for video shoots. <laughs> and now we're gonna walk right up here to our favorite shady, like weird liquor store Tradition. right up here. It's, it's, it just says Munchies on the top of it. It's the <laughs> weirdest liquor store ever. We swear there's like a family that like lives in the back of it or something. It's so strange. They've offered us free monsters at CT's gym before, but like we still come here just for the tradition. Like don't even know why, sirs. A lot of people don't know this, but there's like really cool fabrication shops next to CTs. Like, look at this cool project somebody's got going on, man. Oh man, it's awesome. Wow. Oh, there's no door handles, there's nothing. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's actually a really, really sweet car, man. No joke, that's a show car. Boom, we are here. The music is bumping. That means we are about to walk in to Iron Attics, folks. We just shot a video right here, and CT did an interview. Oh, this is kind of cool. Here. That's CT Fletcher's notepad right there with all of his questions on it. Isn't that cool? So I just sat right here, Indian style, and Brian sat right there, Indian style, for like, literally, like almost an hour just now, filming. My legs are in the weirdest condition they've been in a long time. <laughs>
Beach Boy. Yeah, quite often forget <laughs> stuff. See you, dude. See you, bud. All right, you guys. Wow. We are <laughs> done at Iron Attic's gym. Yeah, that uh, that was a that was a good shoot. That, that was, was probably one I think that's my favorite one we've done so far. It doesn't um, even close. Sitting there and filming for a second, not knowing that I should have used a tripod, and then having to sit on my feet. Oh, that was in rough. And then I converted to Indian style. <laughs> that was rough. I was I was just squatted down on my knees and the tip the tip of my toes. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about, like when you get down on your knees and, and then you're you, on the tip your of your toes. Like this, your thumb yeah, toe. yeah, 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 yeah. Your thumb toe and your your toes are bent back. And I was in that position. Feet started falling asleep. Went converted to Indian style somehow without like getting too much camera Shaky, shake. Right. But I no, I did it on a part where I knew where I Terry took over. To scene. Terry took over and he was talking, so I knew that you would use his yeah. footage in the shot of him. So I was like, okay, I gotta convert right Brotherly now. Mines, bro. We both thought when, the same thing. When I converted my feet, I I've never had them asleep that far asleep. Like they were so far asleep. Like they it took a few minutes for them to come back. It was so bad. Okay, so uh, we're hopping in the car now and we're going to get back down to San Diego. Oh man, you guys, I got home and baby girl made me like, look at this pile of chicken. Look at that delicious chicken. Oh my goodness. Ooh. So what I did is I got six ounces of that chicken chopped up underneath these, it's two servings of these sea salt and vinegar potato pop chips. So I'm just gonna crunch these up on top of the chicken and then it's gonna be delicious because it's gonna be like crunchy and chicken. And I'm gonna squeeze lemon on top of that too. Okay, let me hold it for you. <laughs> 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 Am I the right way? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Squish it. Ooh. Look That's, at it. You hear that, guys? That's the sound of gains. Ooh. Actually, no gains. This is the sound of dieting and cutting away fat. That's what it feels like. The crunchiness that mm -hmm. it feels like? Yeah, so there is chicken down there, I assure you. It's, it's down there. And I'm going to eat this. It's going to be delicious. It is the next morning right now, and you guys are gonna get to see a second lunch of Baby Girl. We've got two apples here that I packed. A Think Thin uh, cinnamon bun and white chocolate. And then we've got basically like stir fry vegetables without the sauce that comes with it. And we've got three ounces of chicken in there. What I also did to this, what she does is the vegetables are frozen, so she microwaves this and it kind of steams everything. I put a little bit of granulated garlic on it. And then I also ground just a little bit of pepper, just for a little extra spice, you know? And then we got one ounce of sea salt and vinegar pop chips. 